Commander, it's full of monsters and traps. I did not for this job. It is near a dozen. Having trouble? Nothing fucking but. One ploughing trouble after the other. What's it to you? Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Radovid sent me. No, oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Don't exactly sound delighted. Would you expect us to? We've done half the work. Now you show up and take all the glory. Word was you hadn't been able to get inside. Till yesterday, when we found this. Doesn't look like much, but it's got power of some sort. Opens the entrance. Great. I'll take that now if you don't mind. Here, choke on it, you twit. Think Philip is still inside? That we don't know. Only certain thing is she was there at some point. Certain? How's that? We've been after her since Loch Muin. Poking out her eyes weren't enough. Radovid should have gutted her there and then. As it is, she turned into an owl and fled. Flew across Kedwin and Redania. Then tucked herself away here. What can I expect to find inside? Everything. Anything. It's an old elven temple. The witch Isleheart turned into her hideout. Look at him. Fell into some magic trap. Then monsters attacked him. Barely got out alive. Any of your men still down there? A dozen or so went in. They's all that came out. Rest are probably dead. Time I saw if Philip is still in there. Don't count on anyone going in to retrieve your corpse. What do you reckon? Think you'll find something? Gotta be some mechanism that opens this door. Missing one tile. Step closer. She that before you hurt yourself. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you that witcher the king was supposed to send? Guessed it. You should know by now how dangerous this place is. On a way up above with the others. Not a chance. Those cowards ran at the first whiff of monsters. I made a stiffer stuff. Besides, something big set to happen here. I just know it. I learn what it is. Radovid. Will appreciate it. King will promote me. Maybe even give me a medal. Think Philip is still here? Can't really know. Sure, we searched a few caverns, but hidden nooks abound. If someone wanted to hide in here, they could easily. Even if they weren't an owl. What's the big event that's supposed to happen? Mm, don't know the details. But I came across Philippa Eilhart's notes. Mentioned Ida Emian, Margarita Lowe and Teal, Francesca Finderbear, and Frangela Vigo. As I see it, they aim to meet here. All right. Let's get you out of here. Told you already. No chance. Besides, the teleport's power cell. I broke it off. We have to wait till they come for us. Got no choice. Nobody's gonna come for us. Give me the crystal, I'll get us out of here. But the monsters, 
I'll defend you. What if you can't? No time to argue. Give me the crystal. Over my dead body. Have it your way. Right, enough. I'll give you the dumb crystal. Out of my way. Ugh. Right, now to activate it. She either fought someone, or used them in her experiments. Blood-stained surgical instruments. Philippa operated on someone here. Notes. Charred. Almost completely. Can't read a thing. A megascope. Scorched. Covered in soot. Maybe one of the crystals survived. Crystal from a megascope. Heavily chipped. Yen will know what to do with this. Gotta go back to Kaer Morin. You should have gone after him! Straight into some monster's jaws? to come up and form you. Besides, he'll come back this way. You've got to. Ah, there he is now. You're alive. Find anything? Cremated notes, a necker nest, rats. Nothing interesting. Why don't I believe you? Dunno. 
your problem, I guess. Oh, you're wrong there. Grab him! Geralt? Got summoned by Radovid. He wants me to find Philippa. What a king. Not only cruel, but naive as well. Did he truly believe you'd help him? I took the job. Why? Gotta say, I'm curious what happened to her. And I didn't want any Redanians getting in my way while I tried to find out. Look, found this in Philippa's hideout. A megascope crystal. Damn, it's cracked. But it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leaves Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Velista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? Phil, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefortz did it? I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's madness. You will need advanced power. You'll put it in great danger. Damn it. That's it. I can't recover any more. I hear right. They mentioned the lodge? Yes. And later, Philippa said something about vision regeneration. Margarita mentioned Ida and Francesca, then Kira and Frangilla. I've little doubt Philippa means to revive the Lodge of Sorceresses. They weren't sure about Triss, excluded you right away. I'd never agree to rejoin. Philippa believes only the Lodge can look after the Mage's interests effectively. I disagree and prefer to act alone. Besides, the moment's inopportune. Reviving the Lodge would enrage both Radovid and the Emperor. They're at a critical stage of their duel for influence, and neither would welcome a new player. Think Philippa pulled it off? Restored her eyesight? It would be reckless, but not impossible. They seemed to say she was planning to implant tissue grown on precious stones. Till now, only Vilgefortz has ever managed. If she succeeded, well, I suppose congratulations would be in order. I wonder what I should do with the crystal. It cannot fall into Radovid's hands, not under any circumstances. You'd better leave it with me. I accepted a job. Plan to finish it as best I can. Crystal needs to go to Radovid. Very, very bad idea. You could harm not only Philippa, but Triss, me. Right. It'll be safer with you. of His Majesty Radovid V, King of Redania. State your business. I want to see the King. It's about Philippa Eilhart. If that's the case, come with me. But no sudden moves. Got my eye on you.
Witcher. Any progress? Have you found Isleheart? Wasn't where your men said, but I did find signs of someone doing medical experiments there. Oh, that's something. Think Philippa tried to restore her eyesight. Verily. Empty eye sockets suit her so much better. So, have you any proof? No, but you have my word. Ha <laughs> ha. Your word. You give me your word. Sorry, but Eilhart herself taught me to doubt everyone, especially their word. So we've naught to talk about. Farewell. Contribution you're looking for. It's true you killed kings. You and our commander. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm hmm. Miss Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the black ones at Mulberdale. So, sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes, when they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. Don't trust Vess anymore? Bollocks. She's prepared to die for me. Ah, no, that's not the problem. Know what distinguishes a soldier from a common swashbuckler? The uniform. It's a serious question. A rhetorical one. So instead of waiting for an answer, just enlighten me. Soldiers think tactically. They know when to strike, when to fall back, when to charge and when to hold. Vess finds this difficult. She's impulsive, hot-headed. Yet in guerrilla warfare, one false step and you're fucked. I confined her to the camp because I feared that sent out, she'd go rabid and make a mistake. I was right. Why Mulberry Dale? Why'd Vess go there? The peasants from the village aided us earlier. The Nilfgaardians learned of this. Word got out they're planning a punitive expedition. Probably hang every fifth villager. Hmm. Honestly, Vess's desire to save the villagers makes sense. What doesn't is your opposition to the plan. War means death. Not only for the soldiers, for the common folk as well. You can't save them all, it's that simple. Funny. Had you for an idealist. You were right to. Are right to. But I have one ideal. A free Temeria. And I'm prepared to sacrifice anything for it. All right, so you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me in Velen beneath the Hanged Man's Tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. It's the village below, black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of Vess. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer over there near the. Get to the black ones! At me, Circa! Looks like we're too late. Geralt, we have to help. Follow me.
God damn it, Bess. Have you gone completely mental? You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Ren. <coughs> One left. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilf Guardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes Dirmad Ava. Go, before I change my mind. We should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Could use your help at Kaer Morin. Aim to take Ciri there. Wild Hunt's bound to appear soon after. You didn't turn your back on me when I was in need. It's only fair I do the same. Thanks. Venture to say your skills might prove invaluable. I'll consider whether to bring Vess. Either way, I'll see you at Kaer Morin. I aim to open a whorehouse in Vizima. A problem. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smash knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. You don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, 
I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. I've got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? You can handle this, Sultan. Sure. Or I might just discover I look great without ears. Or hands. Apparently the King of Beggars accepts both as partial payment. Ah, <sighs> alright. I'll think about it. Thanks. So long, Geralt. As clear as Zoltan. Geralt! I know where Ciri is. And why are we here? Let's go get the lassie! I'll do that. But I have another job for you. You need to set out for Kaer Morhen. That's where I'll take Ciri. The Wild Hunt will attack soon afterwards. Could use you at our side. You'll have me... And my axe! Thanks. See you at Kaer Morhen. Vesemir, Eskel, and Lambert are already there. All of them. They took the Zenas treasures, not finished. Generous. No problem. It's quite simple, Geralt. I cannot be indifferent to Redania's fate. Call it patriotic concern. <laughs> so it's concern that compels you to bump off Radovid? I think often of the country and its future. And the more I think, the clearer it becomes that as long as Radovid sits on the throne, Redania has no future. Wasn't sure I should even ask you. Still not. But what the hell? I could honestly use some help. Oh, my help. Very interesting. Do tell. Wild Hunt's gonna attack Kaer Morhen soon. It's a sure thing. Looking for people, resources, anything that'll help me repel them. The Wild Hunt? Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Hardly nonsense. Got a taste of it. A painful taste. On my own skin. Hmm. Sorry, Geralt, but I've my own pile of problems just now. I've not recovered my lost property. Your help, you might remember, left much to be desired. So I don't owe you shit. over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I could take care of those monsters for you. Hmm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, Look for a chest. My treasure. Savings, really. They're yours. What'll that leave you with? 
A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. <laughs> Must be the man that the old woman mentioned. to set a trap. Someone's here. Problem solved. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. One less to worry about. to worry about. Something's not right. <laughs> A tripwire. Problem solved. Booby trap. <laughs> A tripwire. Whoever said it knew what they were doing. Solved. One less to worry about. Hmm, a sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. Might be just long enough to reach that upper level. Let's see what's up there. Your reflexes have slowed. Hope you're not hurt. Those were my traps. Letho. Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. You one of them? Them? You know I work alone. Question is, what are you doing here? Waiting for them. The ones trying to kill me. Well, I got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman. Supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. Who'd you piss off this time? Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out to kill me ever since I left Loch Muin. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. You've grown careless. Let yourself be drawn into a trap. Nah. Only traps here are the ones I set. Gotta get rid of them. Coming? Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah. Improvise. Don't let him touch his breath! Assassins. They're just scads. 
Came to see if Lewis was telling the truth. Rest must be waiting nearby. And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told them. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Hmm, <laughs> could be interesting. Love to see it. Come along. Sight of two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. Miss Lewis, somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Drink with someone in the evening, check if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? It was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Ada. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard and make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, merry-making at the Golden Hanged Man. Smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a few hours. Started talking, killing time. Chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you, but betrayal costs even more. Greetings. Good to see you, alive and well. Oh, yeah? Of course! <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Doesn't matter. And don't change the subject. Subject? What subject? You just arrived. Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turf. Arno Vesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps I finally caught a whiff. Hmm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. No insult worthy of scum like you. Careful, men! They're witches! <laughs> witches don't attack! Make an exception for you. Come on! Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Tell me where Vesto's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. <laughs> They're north of here. Uh, in Lindenvale. I'm curious. How much does the life of an old mate get you these days? Things. Things been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the black ones. Vesta showed up one day, offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. You gotta understand, you don't say no to an offer like that. I understand. Hey! My medicine! 
Gotta understand, Lewis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester. Going with you. Horses! Damn you! Go, go! Vester, elf guardian name. From Mechner, I think. But he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names. Brandon Vilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimplebottoms. Manfred Wimplebottoms? Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure weren't laughing. Preferred method, rip the teeth out one by one, then cut the mouth open. Keep your eyes open. Think they're really here? Don't know, but like I said, I've grown real careful. Come on, Roach. Gloria is still unwell. Head's hot as a half. I knew she was so good. I catch something. Sent my youngins to pet my shoulder. Nice mounts. Gotta be worth more than the entire village. What's in the barn? Hey! Got company? Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable. Take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. What was that? Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere, no matter what happens. Plug your ears. What are the blazes? A bolt of lightning or something? Shut up, all of you. Letho of Gullet. Good to see you, alive and well. Funny. Second time today I've heard that lie. It is no lie. You will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive. Really? How much? Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir, where I will lie about eating fruit till the end of my days. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his hand. Most men would prefer not to have one. But why have you come? To make my life easier? We were passing by. Decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arnold Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands. One man after the other. Till the end of your days, those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? 
You go your way, I'll go mine. Wise choice. Take his head, and we leave this God's forsaken place. You're not taking anything. Need proof? Take his medallion. We will take his head. You are one, we are three. Mm-hmm. But in the time it took me to run up, Letho dropped six of yours with a bolt in his chest. How long will it take me to kill you? What do you think? Then, take the medallion. The head could rot before we arrived at our destination. Saddle the horses. We ride. Amusing? Not so loud, Geralt. I just rose from the dead. Zangwebarian venom could still kill you, you know. Got the antidote? Mm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for, that whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. So I decided it was time to end it. Once and for all. Found Vesto's gang and paid off his arbalist. You just witnessed the rest of the story. What if he'd crossed you, like Lewis? I had to risk it. Gotta say it's paid off. Letho of Gullet's dead as a doornail. Word of that'll spread like wildfire far and wide. All I gotta do now is disappear. Gotta be a cozy haunted house nearby. You can lay low and no one'll bother you. Nah. Had it with these swamps. Need a change of scenery. Zaracania, maybe. I've heard they have striped horses there. So have I. And apparently it's a matriarchy. I mean, being a deep belief of mine always that it's women who should rule the world. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Geralt. Don't mention it. See you on the path, Letho. Why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Bet. Kira. What are you doing here? But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat drags in. What's this? What's he saying about rats? It's no concern of yours. You're not mad at me. Oh, of course not. I understand perfectly well that you had valid, important reasons for leaving me in an underground cavern all by myself. Managed to find the lamp? 
Yes? And you? Come to ask my help again? No, but if there's anything I could do for you... Hmm... So there is something. Hmm... Indeed. I do have this small favor to ask of you. Finally know where Ciri is. I want to take her to Kaer Morhen. Is that so? Nice to hear. But is there any particular reason you're telling me this? Well, the Wild Hunt will know I've found her when I do. They'll attack. Want you to help me repel them. Ah. <laughs> this is awkward. I mean, I'd gladly help, but I have a few more things to tend to in this charming dunghole. Perhaps, if you were to help me first... <laughs> Let me think about it. You know where to find me? See you, Kira. Off. Oh, yes. He was talking to some friends of my father. Poor chaps can't get their minds off politics, not for an instant. I truly hope they'll allow themselves some respite after the coronation. Big changes afoot in the Empire? You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Oh well. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I've begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. I doubt that. Can't compare the Wild Hunt to Temerian Shieldbearers or Lyrian Archers. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morin is in a wilderness. And your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition. General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Siri. I will, if that's what she wants. She cannot to vein. Talk. <laughs> the war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emir's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman, but a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. You were made a Hierophant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skelliger Circle chose me years ago. A 
about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. What do the druids think of Skellige's new ruler? On great blood is good blood. Hjalmar is a good warrior. We shall soon see what kind of politician he will make. Betting he'll listen to his father's counsel and probably sink any possible accord with Nilfgaard. That is certain. As long as any on crate sets the throne of Skellige, there is no hope for peace with Nilfgaard. Yen and I went to Hindersfjall. Oh? Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape with the villagers. I know. You needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you'll find her soon. The wild hunt will attack Kaer Morhen soon. Gonna need your help. A wild hunt? Are you certain? So, uh, you found Siri? I know where she is, and the Wild Hunt will also learn that as soon as I find her. I see. I shall pack immediately. Leave tomorrow at the latest. Thank you. No need. I raised the girl, and I've still a duty to her. I shall see you at Kaer Mohren. What is that? Oh, you would strangle me with rope? I've no clue what to get it. Maybe a nice little axe. Didn't I see we'd see blood and water? Respect, Witcher. You're pale. You drink last night, too? Blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Got a minute? Sad when someone like Bran dies. Everyone says he was a good king. It's not fitting to speak elsewise about the dead. Mean you don't agree? Bran spent his life at sea. And while he was away, old feuds flared, devouring the isles from the inside. Folk grew furious, came when there was no one to mediate, resolve quarrels. But then Bran would return with loot, throw a feast, let the mead flow in rivers, and everyone loved him again. How's Yalmar feeling in his new role? Hope it hasn't gone to his head. No. Da's been keeping my dear brother's feet in the ground. Yeah? So no war with Nilfgaard? That's unavoidable, I'm afraid. It's not just Yalmar. Everyone wants it. Everyone. Except you. War's death and destruction. Even if it's in defense. Yes, I'd rather avoid it if there were a way. But... Folks say the Black Ones will attack sooner or later. When they do, I'm glad Yalmar will lead us into battle. Got a delicate matter I wanted to bring up. Need your help. What is it? Krochs mentioned Siri to you. He must have. Have you found her? Not yet, but I'm close. Problem is, as soon as I get to her, the Wild Hunt will probably be able to locate us, quickly. So I'll want to take her to Kaer Morin. Battle the hunt there. I'm looking for allies. I can't go. But do forgive me. Yalmar's given me tasks, important ones. He's my king now. I can't just abandon him. I understand. I should go. Gotta keep looking. Good luck, Geralt. Things. You and Siri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye, spent half our childhood in the Isles. 
Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates? Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye, we had twelve winters on us, both. Any thought of continuing that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Figured out who brought the Berserkers to Kertrolda? Nay. If I'm to be honest, I was kind of counted on Sarah's finding some lead. But she's had no luck. But we tracked them down, took care of them. And that's most important. Any foes a clan on Crate will think twice now before they pick a fight. Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Ceres will take care of that. The Wild Hunt's preparing to attack Kaer Morhen. Could use your help. Rates at the gate of your Witcher's stronghold. You're a friend of the clan. I cannot refuse you. What's more, no one crates ever stood and battled such a foe. I'll leave at once. Thanks. Won't forget this. Without a murmur, got me went eye on you. Tell the others. Wonder what they'll say. Uh oh. Scratch. Adventure. Telling you, Geralt. Since you and Yalmer defeated the ice giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an uncrate. The massacre during the feast. Know anything new? You and Yalma, you killed everyone who might have told us something. I know there are no witnesses, no evidence, but you must have suspects. Daily, I ask myself who has gained from this crime. The answer is simple. Svanriga. Think he's capable of such treachery? If not him, then his mother. Sons, King of Skellige, congratulations to you. It is a great honor for the Uncrate dynasty. First time one of ours sits on the throne. What kind of king will Yarmar be? One who sheds blood, praises courage, and condemns cowardice. And unites the clans against Nilfgaard? Of course. He's already decreed new longships be built. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. What's this about the Nilf Guardians? Of late, look seaward and you'll see their son on a sail, staring right back. We've yet to capture any of their crew, but only a fool wouldn't know they're planning something. But fear not, we'll banish the Black Ones and the Wild Hunt. Two birds with one skeleton axe. <laughs> City will be safe in Kiatru. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait! Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crate did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought it was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. 
been in the Oncrate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Hunting. Fucking hell. Oh. Not bad.